Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from a microbiologist. Today I'm gonna talk about one of the most important culture media and it's McConkey agar. McConkey agar is very common and widely used in microbiology. McConkey agar is one of the most important culture media and there are three different types. Each type has its own modification. McConkey agar is mainly used for isolation and differentiation gram-negative bacteria from clinical, food, water, or pharmaceutical samples. McConkey agar is both selective and differential media. Selective media because it contains crystal violet and bile salt, which inhibit gram-positive bacteria and allow only the growth of gram-negative bacteria. So any type of microorganism will grow on McConkey agar will be gram-negative bacteria. Also McConkey agar is differential media. Due to the presence of lactose, some bacteria have the ability to ferment lactose and others don't have the ability to ferment lactose. So that McConkey agar is used for isolation and differentiation lactose fermenting from non-lactose fermenting gram-negative bacteria. When sugar lactose is being fermented, it converted into acid that lowers the pH. In McConkey agar, it contains neutral red indicator which used to detect the change of pH. In alkaline pH, neutral red indicator is colorless, while in acidic pH, neutral red will be pink. So the pink colonies indicate the ability of microorganisms to ferment lactose. Let's look for some microorganisms that can grow on McConkey agar. E. coli E. coli is gram-negative bacilli that ferment lactose and appears as a non-mycoid pink colonies that may be surrounded by a zone of precipitated bile. Also, Klebsiella and Enterobacter are gram-negative bacteria that have the ability to ferment lactose and they produce mycoid semi-solid colonies on McConkey agar due to exopolysaccharide capsule production that prevent them from phagocytosis from white blood cells. Also, Cetrobacter and Serratia are gram-negative bacteria that appear pink on McConkey agar due to lactose fermentation. On the other side, the growth of colorless colonies indicates the inability of microorganisms to ferment lactose, such as Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus, and Pseudomonas. Also, McConkey agar contains peptone and gelatin that provide the essential nutrients and vitamins required for microbial growth and sodium chloride for osmotic balance that facilitate microbial nutrition and movement. Another modification of McConkey agar is McConkey agar without crystal violet. This media allows the growth of some group of gram-positive bacteria such as Staphylococci and Enterococci. The lake of crystal violet permits the growth of enteric gram-positive bacteria of Staphylococci and Enterococci that produce pale pink to red colonies on McConkey agar. McConkey agar without crystal violet and without salt is another modification of McConkey agar which cultivate enteric microorganisms from gram-negative bacilli and gram cocci from water and feces as well as lowering and limiting the swarming effect of Proteus species. Proteus species is lactose non-fermenting gram-negative bacteria which produce colorless colonies on McConkey agar. Proteus is highly motile due to its flagella that covers all its body, and because that reason, Proteus species is well known by its swarming effect. On McConkey agar without salt, the swarming effect of Proteus species is reduced and lowered. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and see you soon in the next coming video.